A live battle. Princess. Alright. Ah, the Barbarian deck. Oh my goodness. This is the most aggressive player I've ever seen. Oh man, we are screwed. We are screwed. All right, we may uh, we may be able to get something out of here. There goes the. Uh... Okay, well let's push him. Let's pull him. Oh my God, we just totally screwed that up. <clears throat> All right, this is gonna be uh, round two. Round two. Of uh, trying to get something for this uh, clone spell. A level ten. Come on, you have got to be kidding me. A level ten. Why do I keep getting these guys? Oh yeah, we won this fair and square. He can't do anything. Oh yeah, he is donezo for shunzo, guys. Aww. Aww. Oh my goodness. Yo, we nailed him. Let's, uh, let's see what his trophy count was. 2600 yeah you see he has a he has a pretty good deck he has a hog he doesn't have a hog cycle deck anyway guys this was just a little update to my uh, for me getting my clone spell um, I did a uh, I did a video like I don't know just like a few weeks ago well not a few weeks ago like two days ago or something trying to get a clone spell so I can make some uh, fun videos and uh, not a lot of luck there. And as you guys saw me in these uh, in these two games, it's, what happens is I go up and down. I go up and down in the uh, arenas, and then I don't. Uh, I just I, you know I can't pull a clone spell because I keep going out of the arenas. But uh, I have a lot of chests that are not giving me good cards either. So hopefully we'll get a clone spell. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I do have two accounts. So I kind of fluctuate between them. So I'm pretty sure in one of these accounts I will get a clone spell. And uh, I just don't know at what, uh, what pace. So uh, I'm thinking if I want to show you guys this last battle I had against a Lava Hound. Yeah, let me show it to you. Oh, I got a free chest. Let's open it. We're going to get our clone spell. Rocket and Ice Spirits. Okay, that's, uh, you know, I'll take it. Whatever. This was the battle I just had like 11 minutes ago, literally. Which was really hard, but what, what's happening is I'm getting a hang of how to fight off Inferno Dragons, Lava Hounds. Uh, because my deck that I use is a chipper deck. And with this chipper deck... I mainly uh, just chip away at a tower, but because of my goblin hut, I'm learning how to uh, how to do a good control deck. People that usually lo run lava hounds, dragons, uh, inferno dragons, they're really impatient people. They just they don't know how to play very very uh, you know. I want to say softly. They don't know how to play patiently. They're just they're very aggressive. They want to go through trophies like that. And the main reason that happens is because they also drop a whole bunch of trophies. That's what happens. So I learned to uh, fight these guys off with a control deck. And a control deck is fought on your side. Okay, so in this case, he came in really, really hot on the left side. And I just rushed his right side because I knew he had no elixir left. Uh, we end up getting that right tower. Uh, I don't know why he put down his uh, Ice Golem, because that's, uh, that thing just doesn't do anything. And to top it off, my Prince actually went after him. On the left side, you guys see that his uh, Lava Hound is doing a number. I saved my arrows for his Minion Horde. I, first, I was going to use my arrows for the uh, Lava Pups, but uh, just I just couldn't do anything. So this guy actually he ends up uh, damaging my left tower really, really strongly. But thankfully, I kind of, I don't know, it just it held off and he didn't do as much damage. So then on the left side, he puts down a, a baby dragon, which does a number, but uh, my goblins there uh, take it down a little bit. I send the prince off just to counter whatever uh, base troops that he sends. And then for, uh, for air, I put down a musketeer and uh, Inferno Dragon is OP, but it has to lock onto the tower. If it doesn't lock onto the tower, it's just, it, it's not really good because it's, uh, it's HP is very, very low. Look at, look at his cards right now. 
He has four air cards. I mean, come on, you have got to be kidding me, dude. So uh, we got Lucky here. Uh, he's he's not playing really smart. He's sending a uh, minion horde. He knows I have arrows. I don't know why he's sending a minion horde. Uh, I come in uh, hot on the left side. Keep in mind, I'm still up a tower and he's not. He's not. If I were him, I would uh, play the other side, and then when he when I get a chance, I would just throw down the goblin barrel. But he's sending in a goblin barrel when my uh, when my base is full with troops, so I'm not really sure what he's doing. Uh, I wasn't even paying attention at this point. I think I was off in La La Land, and we get the left tower, which was uh, which was just uh, good luck. He comes in with a uh, lava hound on the right. I'm um, that's it. I'm like in Disneyland over here. I put down my uh, goblin hut, and I'm like yes. I got another silver chest, or whatever. I was actually hoping for something else, but we, I just gave it away. We get a silver chest, and um, well, as you guys could, could, uh, could tell here on the base. So right now we're opening up all these uh, chests. So this is part two of the road to uh, the clone spell. I do hope I get it uh, sooner or later, guys. I've been opening up a lot of chests and uh, nothing coming up. And I just wish there could have been like a donation opportunity where somebody like gives a clone spell or something anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it i appreciate uh, all my uh, facebook support and uh, just watching you guys uh communicate with me on the clash royale arena also to the discouraged people that keep losing a lot of trophies just stay in there just keep uh, clashing on and uh, you'll, you'll get up there anyway i'll catch you guys later